Hi everyone, this is Ultimate Academy Steam presenting Onyx Financial Track. We are discussing the purchase management system and we're still going through the transactions. In this lecture, we will start off with the screen foreign purchasing cost. And uh, the aim of the screen is to determine the cost for the letters of credit. You will click on add. The branch is automatic. That is according, of course, to the one that you signed in with. Then we select the GRN number, we enter the invoice number as well, and we select the LC number, the letter of credit. When we select the GRN, uh, we automatically get the GRN date, and when we select the number of the letter of credit, we automatically get the date as well. You see these fields right here, or like the, the ribbon? All of these fields, they get filled in automatically according to the data that the user has just entered. The items are also automatic, the names, codes, as well as the measurement unit. Uh, we determine the exact quantity, free quantity as well, and the cost is automatic. Net cost is calculated automatically as well. Now that covers this screen. We will move on to the next one, which is a purchase return invoice. All right, so the screen here is divided into two sections. The upper section contains five tabs. We are already familiar with import from Excel, tax, other charges, and additional fields. We'll talk about master details. Click on add, select the branch. Uh, the payment type is gonna be either cash, check, cash and check, credit, or transfer. Uh, we also select the method of tax calculation and we will uh, select the return type from the drop down menu where the user will find the data entered in the return invoice type screen. Invoice number and date are both automatic and in account number we will head F9 and select the account on which the return will reflect. Don't worry about selecting the currency by the way because it comes up automatically according to the account that you've selected. The most important thing in this screen is selecting the type of return. Here we determine whether the return is going to be off of an invoice, which is bill number, or a previous year return. If we select determine bill number, we enter the invoice number that we're basically returning by heading F9 in this field, um, and you will select the right invoice. So if we go with previous year return, we will get a new field, year. And in that field, we determine the year this return is related to. In case we don't want to use any of these variables and we want to process the return through warehouse received or sales return, we can choose that from the drop down menu install from. We also enter the reference number uh, for the document in the relevant field, which is going to be the one on the right. Then we select the costing method, vendor price after costing or last income price. Uh, based on the data we entered, the system shows you the items, quantity, and also the cost. This is everything regarding the transactions, and we will go ahead and talk about the reports. Alright, so the screen that we will discuss now is vendor item details. We already talked about the header, uh, what it does, report title and, f title and footer as well, and we can select specific items in from item and to item fields to display the reports for specific items that are linked to specific vendors. We also select these vendors from the fields from vendor and to vendor. Of course, we know that we just click on the field and head F9 to select the vendor and the same goes for the items. Everything we just said is pretty much similar to all of the report screens that we've went through before. The difference here though, or what is new, uh, that is that we can view the items that are linked to the vendors by price. So in the price drop down menu, we'll find 17 options and they're all related to the pricing. If we select all, then it will show you all of the prices of the items. And if we select greater than or less than or any of these choices, then we're filtering the items by price. And we also determine the range of the prices from the fields on the right. And that's basically everything. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and we will see you again soon.